Hello and welcome to my first Maya tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going to be covering all of the basics of Maya, what you're going to need to sort of get started and ready for the tutorial series I'm going to be doing. So first off, what you're going to need to do to prepare your uh, your tools up here for uh, for the tutorial that I'm going to be doing is you're going to need to add these things on the end of your uh, your toolbar and you do that by going to uh, for hit for deleting history and this is a very important tool that we need you go to edit delete all by type and then hold shift and control and click that and that will add this there make sure you're on the polygons tab over here and that should appear over here now for the next one this is center pivot and what this does is whenever you make a big model and the I'll actually just demonstrate it so when this this is your pivot the, this position but if I go into and just quickly edit it you don't need to worry about what I'm doing at the moment I'm just going to show you the what it does so you, you can now see that the cube has moved but this the pivot is still in the original position so center pivot literally centers it to the object that it is for so to add that go to modify and center pivot and again don't click it do control shift and then click it and I'm not going to do it again because it'll add it but I can show you what it would look like over here. So if I go to modify and hold control and shift and click, it'll appear in the end over here. So as for these, these are kind of optional. They're just things that I've added in for um, for just convenience, I guess. The first one is hide selected. The second one is hide unselected objects. And there's no objects to hide that aren't selected. So if I just shove a couple in, We've got two there, and if I click this one, it's going to hide the one that I haven't selected, and it's going to hide that. Now, show all will show all of the cubes that we've hidden, so there's three in total. To add those ones on, you need to go to Display, Hide, and the first one's here, so Control shift click on that. The second one is Control shift click on that. And lastly, the, the last one is Control shift click on Show Selection. And that should add all of those there. Those are all you're going to need for the tutorials as far as I'm aware. I am still learning Maya at the moment, so don't think I'm an expert. But feel free to ask me any questions you have. So I'm also going to go over some of the hotkeys on the keyboard, which will make your workflow a lot faster and easier. So, the first one, you may be wondering how I'm doing this, this zoom here. Well, if you hold down Alt and hold down the right mouse button, this arrow will appear where your mouse was. All you have to do is now drag your mouse to the left or right and to zoom in or out. Dragging to the right zooms in, dragging to the left zooms out. You can also, while holding shift, let go of the right mouse button and use the left mouse button in the same way to rotate around your object, or to just not just the object, but to rotate around the screen. Now, this is something that I found a lot of my friends don't don't necessarily know about. I mean, a lot of them do, but it's just a couple of them didn't pick up on it. So if I have an object over here and I'm rotating and I want to be able to rotate around that object, all I have to do is, while it's selected, press F. This will allow me to, this will center the camera onto this and then I can rotate around it and zoom in and out on it as I please. So just get back to the middle, spawn another one, and press F again. Or you could just delete all of it. I shall just do this to show you. You could just have nothing there. And if you press F, it'll center the camera anyway. The last thing you can do to do with rotation and moving around your object is alt, hold the Alt button and hold down middle mouse click, or the middle mouse button. And this that will give you this move tool, and you can move the area around. So if I had a cube, and I just stretch it out a bit and I'll show you how to do this in a moment and I just stretch it out and move it up say I wanted to uh, look at this edge over here there are other ways of doing this but I could just move over like that and that would allow me to just move down the so now on to these things these this is your um, transform controls so currently I'm on what it should be when you start in fact it might just be on this and to get the arrows up, just press W on your keyboard or come over here on the left hand side and click on this button. This will bring up the transform controls. So for this is just for movement, changing its X and Y and Z position. So if you now press E on your keyboard, 
you'll bring up the rotation transform controls. You could also click the button over here. There are other ways to rotate it, and I will use them in some of my uh, my tutorials. And th that's you'll find these things in the attribute editor, which is on the right-hand side here. But I shall get onto that in the episodes when we need it. So the last transform controls, which is on the keyboard hotkey R, is the scale transform controls. So these, uh, this is found here. So this is the scale tool, the rotate tool, and the move tool. They're all found there. Ignore these ones for now. You don't need to worry about them too much, as they're not that important to us. These, as you might imagine, like just like in any word-based program, like Word or PowerPoint or something like that, uh, they're very similar to thing to resizing a picture, except it's in three dimensions. So you've got this one, which is the X direction, the Z direction, and the Y direction. Now, again, just like the moving tool, you also have these square these squares which you can grab and scale it on two planes at the same time as you can see both the Z uh, both the Y and X coordinates change or both the Y and X transforms change with this one uh, and with this one it's the Z and X with this one it's the Z and Y so W is your move transform tool E is your rotate transform tool and R is your scale transform tool. Those are the main hotkeys we're going to be using. And remember, the Alt is Alt, left click to rotate, Alt, middle mouse click to move, and Alt, right click and drag to zoom. So anyway, I'm sorry if that was too complex. I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible in the editing. But if it's not, I will leave a brief description of all of the uh, quick hotkeys in the description below, just in case you wanted it in a text-based form. So that's all you need to know for the tutorials I'm going to be doing. Um, if I've missed anything out, I'll include it in the tutorials when it's appropriate. And you can look forward to seeing lots of amazing tutorials in Maya. If you have any requests for certain tutorials, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next we meet, goodbye.